Ever pondered the fate of a man who falls into the methane lakes of Titan, Saturn's largest moon? Titan, an enigmatic celestial body, has long captivated our curiosity. Second only to Jupiter's Ganymede, Titan stands as the solar system's second largest moon. Its claim to fame, a landscape dotted with lakes and seas, not of water but of liquid methane and ethane. These alien bodies of liquid existing in a state only possible under Titan's frigid conditions are a source of intrigue and fascination. They offer us a glimpse into an environment so drastically different from our own, yet strikingly similar in appearance. So let's pose a rather chilling hypothetical. What if a human were to take an unfortunate tumble into one of these methane lakes? The answer isn't as straightforward as one might think. With the stage set, let's delve into the chilling reality of a plunge into Titan's methane lakes. Imagine a man falling into a lake of methane on Titan. What do you think will happen? Picture this. As soon as he plunges into the lake, the extreme cold would hit him like a sledgehammer. It's not just chilly, it's a staggering minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than anything experienced on Earth. This isn't like diving into a chilly swimming pool where you might gasp, shiver, and then adjust. This is instant, deep freeze conditions. The human body isn't built for this kind of shock. In a blink, our theoretical man would experience severe hypothermia as his body temperature drops drastically. But the cold isn't the only problem. Remember, this is a lake of methane, not water. Methane is a gas at room temperature on Earth, but on Titan, it's so cold that methane exists as a liquid. It's not something we can breathe. The human body needs oxygen and there's none of that in liquid methane. So, at the same moment that hypothermia begins to set in, our man is also suffocating. He can't draw a breath because his lungs can't extract oxygen from methane. It's like being underwater, but without the possibility of swimming to the surface for a gasp of air. And then there's the pressure. On Titan, the atmospheric pressure is about 50% stronger than Earth's. That might not sound like much, but it's enough to feel like you're being squeezed. That pressure, combined with the cold and the lack of oxygen, would be overwhelming. Let's not forget about the methane itself. It's a simple carbon compound, but in liquid form, it's not something the human body can handle. It would cause chemical burns, adding to the onslaught of physical stressors. So, as we can see, our imaginary plunge into a methane lake on Titan is a perfect storm of deadly conditions. It's a swift dive into a world wholly inhospitable to human life. In essence, a fall into a methane lake on Titan would be a swift and brutal end. While a journey to Titan might seem like an exciting adventure, the reality is far more dangerous. Remember the fatal plunge we discussed earlier? Let's delve deeper into that. The methane lakes of Titan are a spectacle to behold, but they are fraught with peril. Picture the extreme cold, reaching a staggering negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. This alone would freeze any terrestrial life form in mere moments. But the cold is just the beginning. These lakes also lack oxygen, an essential element for human survival. Without it, one would suffocate quickly, gasping for breath in a sea of icy methane. Moreover, the pressure in these alien lakes is tremendous, far surpassing anything experienced on Earth's deepest ocean floors. It would crush a human body in an instant. Survival in such conditions? It's virtually impossible. So, while the methane lakes of Titan might be intriguing from a distance, it's safe to say that we should keep our explorations to more hospitable environments.